Guys, are you looking for a new podcast that combines your passion of comedy and music? Then you should listen to The Supergroup. On each episode of The Supergroup, hosts Tawny Newsom and Alex Kleiner invite a comedian and musician to write and record an original song with them over the course of a week. Whoa. You'll hear every step of the process from writing and rewriting to recording and mixing. That's nuts. Songs with Open Mike Eagle, Ted Leo, Paul F. Tompkins, Janet Varney, and more. The podcast is funny, but the songs are legit. Listen to The Supergroup only on Stitcher Premium. Go to stitcherpremium.com slash supergroup and use promo code CRUCIBLE for a free month of Stitcher Premium. You know the code, CRUCIBLE. Hey guys, back to <sighs> normal this week. Hey birds, you guys making home okay? Uh, I did, yeah. I feel like I avoided the chaos of Tampa that everyone else seemed to get hit by, and yeah, I just everybody got a little something. Oof, kept my arms close to my body and away from the chaos, but I'm alive. It's fine. I feel like How's Kelly. I feel like the Tampa hurricane hit me pretty strong, <laughs> just directly. <laughs> Yeah, I was directly in the path. (laughs) It's been a very long week. (laughs) Yeah. Well, we all we all made it back in one piece, or like at least with all of our original parts Mm -hmm. still attached. It's crazy to me that like you guys went out and that hard on Saturday night because we had an early flight. You guys on Sunday morning. (laughs) I I mean it's just. I had to be up at four thirty to catch this this plane, so whatever. <laughs> but like, it was like, it was like, yeah, getting late, and it was like, oh, okay, yeah, it sounds like people are some people are going to bed. <laughs> and I'm just like looking on Twitter the next morning. And it was like, yeah, nope, not everybody. No, the, the party raged on. I think at three a.m. we were in a billiards bar with too many drinks, getting too emotional, and I was like, all right, it's time for bed, but. Yeah, that's what Tampa does to you. I just don't understand how that there's a place where if you go there at 3 a.m., it's still 90 degrees and humid outside. I just don't (laughs) get it. Yeah, no escape. It shouldn't be possible. When we came home to L.A. and we stepped off the plane and walked out to the airport, like as we were walking to our car, I commented like, you know, like between the sky bridge (laughs) and like walk through the terminal and now walking outside, you'll notice we went outside a couple times and at no point immediately felt obligated to say, oh my God, what? Oh, why is it, why is it like this? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just like normal. I just went through an entire week not announcing when I was sweating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what my brother yeah. and I said. We're like, you know what? We might've been a little too hard on LA because it's a fucking paradise. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> we're all right here. Oh, welcome to Crucible Radio, the podcast for all things Destiny 2 PvP. I'm Bones. That's Birds and Swain. And I'm, We're I'm, hosts. The, I'm the Swain one. We're uh, so good at this. This is our <laughs> And me. This is the this is like one this is in the top two podcasts I host, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh wow. Wow. <laughs> I uh I just saw a movie last night. I, we are not getting paid to plug this movie, but I thought it was something else and you absolutely got to go see it in a theater so you can be maximum uncomfortable with other people uh sorry to bother you Whew. that's a doozy that's a, that's a doozy i just want to say that i, I saw was, it before you so uh just like i have a you know kind of had a thought on it first but uh yeah no not on tape you didn't <laughs> that's true uh no that was that was a wacky bonkers movie and uh, a, a middle-aged couple got up and left an hour into oh. my viewing <laughs> i don't want to like i want to talk with you off mic and know like what part caused that couple to walk out because i kept like as i was watching it i was thinking to myself oh yeah that's probably the scene that made that couple walk out <laughs> well, and then i kept kept thinking that yeah it was that was probably like the one that made them start thinking about it. And then they probably gave it like 10 minutes and then we truly decided there is no redeeming this movie for them. And they're like, yeah, we're going to leave. But it was like, probably there was probably like 25, 30 minutes left of the movie. Like they were so deep into it. So it was kind of dumb that they did and they might've, you know, I don't, know. I don't think they were getting it. <laughs> like I don't think there was anything at yeah. the end of the movie that would have, uh, you know, 
conveyed the themes if they just weren't understanding it at the beginning. But yeah, beautiful film. Just say, uh, no spoilers, that is the most 2018 movie I've ever seen. Like the most relevant <laughs> to 2018, if you're paying attention to twitter.com. Yes, that's Twitter the movie. <sighs> <sighs> well, Anyways. have you guys played any Destiny while we're recovering and re-energizing after depleting all resources in Tampa? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I played a bit. I uh, We came home to an Iron Banner. Forgot about that, but I was in it long enough to get a uh, finite impactor, that hand cannon I wanted. Oh, nice. Um, I got to say, this is one of my favorites. Definitely in the energy slot, this is my favorite hand cannon. Uh, Judgment's still the one to touch in the kinetic slot and just like has crazy stats on it. Uh, but it just feels good. It's the, it's the one that's got a snapshot on it. Um, and then just like high base handling as well. Um, I got the masterwork with stability on it. And it just... You know, it just feels good. It just <laughs> feels reliable. A little more range would be nice, but you know, what can you do? I like it. Got that. That's good. Yeah, I mean, I got I got back a little bit later in the week, so I didn't get to do any Iron Banner. It's a good thing I finished everything up the previous one. So yeah. I really didn't have anything to shoot for uh, this Iron Banner. But uh, I came back to obviously all the big changes and uh yesterday's uh well yesterday this is this is saturday so it happened yesterday but the craziness of the uh quote unquote black spindle of reappear yeah. holy yeah. cow what a day but uh i it's I love it. it's such an exciting uh like mission and a, like a space like it's a beautiful space, but getting to it is probably the most boring thing <laughs> I've ever yeah. had to do. Yeah, it's once you get through the first on one, and, yeah, you can do the heroic whenever you want. But yeah, that the way to trigger. I was like, you have to what? You just sit and wait, and there's like a fifty percent chance it's not the public event you needed. That was a little. Uh, I exhausting. you should have heard me trying to describe it to Kelly, you know, this morning. <laughs> She's like, "Oh, you are playing." Destiny last night. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, so I didn't. I was like, I spent all night doing this thing, and then I didn't get the thing. <laughs> um, and then I spent even longer just waiting for a chance at the thing. She's like, I don't, I don't even know what this means. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, despite the fact that it is um, really boring and hard to get to. Uh, it's so cool and I can't wait to finish it I didn't get to finish it because Bonji got kicked we made it to the last <laughs> room by our, just the two of us though and I was like yeah I think we got it the next time yeah I will do it this weekend I also got some faction rallies to finish and uh, you know I want to test out the quick play changes I really like yeah life life hit heart so <laughs> i haven't had a ton of time to play but uh, yeah i'm enticed by all the uh, little clips i am seeing all over twitter of cool exotic changes and um people hitting like 50 kills in quick play the uh just just to point this out the uh, whisper of the worm which is black hammer uh re- reinvented does like 845 damage on a headshot in the crucible. Wow. So it can Seems body shot with a, uh, with a empowering awesome. rift. And if like you worried about killing a, uh, a super out of it, no, you're fine. It does so much damage. <laughs> it's truly absurd. And I actually hit a couple shots. I'm, I'm like, uh, so how, how does it how does it feel as it's, a crucible sniper? It's heavy. It's it's exactly like it sort of always has been where it's just takes like, me back to when we were like talking about the OP Sunbreaker. Like, yeah, yeah just use use black hammer. <laughs> it's a sniper. Yeah. Yeah, use black hammer. But yeah, it truly is uh, in a league of its own. And I, I sort of guessed immediately and then of course was pretty I'm pretty positive of this now seeing its full potential but I feel like this is going to stay in the power slot after the weapons uh slots get rearranged like this is the the sniper 
that is like accurate aqueous is to shotguns. There's no way this takes special ammo. It's such a beast. And um, we we did a, a raid today, the Spire of Stars, and it's just like, yep. Three people on each side stand in a rift to get your snipers out one phase of boss. And it does disgusting damage. And when you masterwork it, it gets box, box, blah, 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 box breathing. That's what it's called, which only enhances the damage when you're scoped in for long enough. So this is going to be a monster. And I have a feeling that this is just going to be a gun I have to have for the rest of Destiny 2. <laughs> just like just like uh, Black Hammer and Black Spindle was just something you always will need. All right. Well, I hope you guys are ready to help me grind it out in like two to three months from now. Yeah, yeah. Whenever Saturday. you're ready. You take your time, Thanks. Birds. <laughs> Whenever you're sure. ready. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, uh, you guys getting down with the uh, the faction rally this time? Uh, no, but I do have a sweet <laughs> thing that happened to me where I'm hacking the system because the game, I don't know what I did, folks. I'm sorry. I wish yeah, I, I could want, like. I want what you had. That. This is crazy. I wish I could like deliver this as like a cool discovery. Like, guys, do this before they patch it, before the next one. But I just have no idea how it works. But I'm apparently pledged to two factions this week, and I get d- double rewards for uh, both New Monarchy and Future War Cult. Don't know what I did. All I did was pledge to New Monarchy this week. Uh, but uh, in terms of the grind, it kind of sucks because everything gives me two, like Raid or Crucible games. But if I get renown and then cash it out in a lost sector, it's like a 50 50 chance. So <laughs> technically, I have to do like more grinding to get to rank 30 of New Monarchy, which is really all I wanted to hit this week. So it's a blessing and a curse, but it's dumb either way. <sighs> Monday. I have Monday set aside. <laughs> all Monday? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I have all the armor for New Monarchy. So. Yeah, that makes it'll it at least faster. be a little bit better, and like maybe I can like post Kelly up on the couch next to me and be like, "All right, you can sit here, just keep your foot elevated, and I will." Uh, I'm going to spend all of this time running around the in circles on Titan. Yeah. So I wanted to I give an update <laughs> about uh, my progress because I've been playing mouse and keyboard full time for oh yeah months now. I feel good. I feel like I'm putting up big scores, if not bigger, um, I, I'm playing probably a little more passive because I don't have that really good tracking with an SMG melee follow-up thing. I get a little sloppy, but I've been trying to shotgun, but overall my shot's good and I get like pretty high scores now. So that's cool. The funny thing is I got, <laughs> I got offered to uh, fill in at the one V one scuff tournament at guardian con and I had to use a scuff and it had been a little bit, but I do kind of want to use a controller again. <laughs> the allure. I, like, you know, it's fine. Like, whatever. We can argue about the validity of controllers in tournaments until we shoot ourselves in the head. But like, I know my skill ceiling like won't be reached. Like I'm not going to push up against that barrier. So I just want a controller that works again. And I want to see how it feels. And it's like, do I prefer to be able to use an SMG, get up in people's faces, melee, you know, get that overshield with Sentinel, play my aggressive style like I like to do and really have those shotguns down? Or will I try it and then realize like, wow, having a fantastic hand cannon shot is actually better. I prefer that. So I just wish I could compare, but right now I have a broken controller and a keyboard that works. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's okay if I'm not MLG elite on mouse and keyboard, but I do, I am proud of myself for at least getting completely fluent on it. I have no problem going into comp, going into quick play or doing the, uh, you know, whisper of the worm mission on mouse and keyboard, which I've did, I've done successfully. So I at least can say I did it. I learned it and I know it, but I kind of want to play controller again. Well, hey, you mentioned it. Um, hey, you did okay in that uh, in that tourney, filling in. <laughs> yeah, I did all right. That was that you was, got your kills, man. You got I, got your a, kills. I got a couple good kills. I, I got a couple plays. It was really funny. We were, uh, Birds was there, but we decided to show up very uh, casually late to the day two, uh, and well, we got caught in a rainstorm, so we sprinted across this bridge into the convention center, and I'm like soaking wet. I walk in, and I'm like, oh, I feel disgusting. It's sweat and rain. And as I'm standing there, like, all right, let's go check out what's happening at the tournament. 
And Farcog comes up to me. He's like, hey, so uh, Miss 5000 wants like hurt her eye and Cosmo's supposed to play with her. But Cosmo has to go do a thing of this thing. So can you fill in? And I'm like, sure. He's like, have you used a controller lately? I'm like, no, let's do it. <laughs> so I sat down soaking, still pretty wet uh, to play Cammy in a 1v1. And I, and, uh, the, I think the funnest part was like, I'm so, I'm so glad I got to play Cammy. Like had I just filled in for wherever, I would have been like, oh, this is going to make me super anxious and whatever. I don't have my best gear on my warlock and I don't have time to change, but Cammy and I agreed, like, let's just have fun. Let's like put on a good show. And I just mimicked his thing that he was doing the whole time, which was switching guns every single encounter. And Cammy did that the entire tournament and he brought it all the way up to the championship. And it just became like one of the most fun things I've seen in destiny PVP lately, because while it's silly, while it's very Cammy esque, it's also an incredible strategy because yeah. having played against it, I don't know what he has. That's <laughs> it. Like, I, I don't think it's a silly strategy at all. Like, I, you know, big shout out to Lil Sonic for just, for just the level of technical competence. Just brought pure to fundamentals. I mean, he, he earned it on fundamentals, right? Like someone yeah. who just doesn't miss, like those fusion shots he was putting down. <laughs> yeah, it does not like, miss. Yeah, you deserve you deserve <laughs> that win. Um, but I mean, for me, the the standout for the tournament is going to be Cami because what Cami showed us is that he has mastery over like every gun in the game, not mm. just the meta ones. There was a lot of off meta stuff in there, um, but that he not only knows how to get kills with them and how to be effective, but like how to use that gun like it's meant to be used and to to sort of use it to its best for sort of how that specific set of perks and that build was designed. Um, and to just see, like, and to demonstrate to the ability just like mentally to shift on a dime to go like, all right, I'm switching from a sniper rifle with an explosive rounds that I'm spamming around a corner to shock and awe, and I'm going to, you know, tr- trip that that plan C perk to just get the instant charge on it. Like, to be able to mm-hmm. do that in the middle of a match and, like, shift your play style accordingly to pull it off, um, I just, I, I thought it was great. I sh- thought he showed a, a ton of mastery. and um, This is the part was, where I'm going to plug Cammy's YouTube for Cammy. <laughs> yeah, um, do it. Because he does a, like, almost daily commentary uh, video. And they, they're they just essentially pulled from, uh, definitely, I don't know if it's from a stream or he just like hops in a Crucible match and plays a game and just records it and live commentaries it. But uh, he does that every single day. He'll pick a weird loadout and that'll be like the theme of that video. And he like systematically goes through and tells you what his you know, uh, goal is for using that loadout, why, why he's using it and, uh, how he's going to accomplish it. And while he's doing it, he's like, there you go. See that? That's the thing. And like, he like points to, you know, what he accomplished or how he accomplished and how you can, you can also do that (laughs) if if you are good, (laughs) uh, in some cases, but he'll do things like, uh, he was using, the the perk that reloads on melee and he was using throwing knives to reload his fighting line in the air (laughs) it's like stuff like that like specifically like picking something out and saying i'm gonna do this watch me do it and i am so jealous of it all you gotta do is read the perks i think that's their secret i think that's cammy and special (laughs) k dude's secret (laughs) yeah i don't got time for that yeah i don't read anything i mean (laughs) I once read a Moby thing. It Dick. was terrible. <laughs> I didn't care for it. No, no. We all love reading and we read a lot. Uh, bones uh, for work and against his will, but it still counts. I have to, I have to read all good, day. That's kids. why I don't read Perks and Destiny. <laughs> Going crazy. <laughs> yeah. That 1v1 tournament was just a total blast, though. I think, um, and we told them as much, but uh, Peter and Farcog and, um, you know, and, and Scuff, of course, but like they just like, held it down. They put on a great show. I know they were working like kind of like last minute and filling stuff in on the fly, you know, pulling in fallout to do interviews and post game stuff like that. And it was honestly like one of the most fun parts of guardian con and it had this great crowd around the booth the whole time. A huge crowd looking at two TVs. <laughs> yeah. It's like 24 inch <laughs> monitor on a wall. Uh, but it was fun. Yeah. 
I think the the tournament showed me that um, fusion rifles are a lot more viable and a lot more deadly than uh, the the way I've been using them with the <laughs> with the controller too. A controller across the board, like yeah. I mean, L- Lil Sonic was doing insane things with it. But um, shout out to uh, to Buttwipe who really impressed me with some of those shots, like. I, yeah, he was he, using he was, he yeah, was timelines vertex in. the feature one, yeah. which I don't yep. think is good in in my opinion. I just <laughs> it's low on my list of, of fusion rifles. But I mean, if anyone was watching that, they were like, "I need that gun." Clearly, uh, but yeah, he did he did amazing work with it. Okay, well, this Guardian Con is behind us. Although I uh, I will still go back from time to time and listen to last week's episode for the. The nostalgia, the old nostalgia of it. Oh, and and check out the the YouTube version of it. Like Nick did a a good job piecing that together. It's like footage from the party. Yeah. Just, um. Like we 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 recorded a house party and had it like plausibly work as a podcast, which that take a little pride in. Thought it turned out pretty good, but we're back to it. And it's like, despite the fact that we're in the lead up to a new big like enormous expansion um there's a lot of destiny stuff happening right now i was completely like caught off guard by update 1.2.3 right this happened like you know two days after i was back i'm like great it's all right it's reset day oh that patch is coming through they're changing you know comp matchmaking and stuff and then i was like oh there is a ton of shit in this update (laughs) it felt like like a content release it truly did I mean, we can jump around in this thing, but like y'all already mentioned it. Um, how you guys liking the 6v6 quick play? Can I just say, I think this is, and I've tried to remember something else that could beat it. I think this is probably my favorite and probably the best change to the game since Destiny 2 has been released. I don't know how. I don't know why specifically, but quick play going to 6v6 and the way it feels and the, I don't, they, you know, they say there's no matchmaking changes on Twitter, whatever. It's so wonderful. It's so fun. I was super, super like, uh, what's the trepidatious? Is that a word? Um, sure. About changing it to 6v6. I'm like, no, it's just chaos. I don't actually love Iron Banner that much. Iron Banner has not felt like, yes, I want to grind this. Uh, for me and then suddenly it's like no this is nothing like what we've been playing in iron banner this is new 6v6 quick play and it's awesome and the score change probably has something to do with it too it's just fun to try to get those huge games again to just feel like wow i can put up absurd numbers but i've been having an absolute blast and i just want to say this is the best change and it fits Right into that thing I've wanted to happen in this game for a long time. It just sort of answered a question that I didn't expect to get an answer to. So good job, Bungie. Whatever you poured all over that mode is really working. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't think I was going to like it. Um, I'm liking it a lot more than I thought. But I think like just practically speaking, because I'm, yeah, I'm trying to put my finger on why it feels different. Because like we had it in Banner. It doesn't feel like Banner. Yeah. Um, I, I think taking Supremacy out of the quick play rotation is uh, significant um, just for overall perception. But I think like it kind of deals with a lot of the matchmaking problems because it was not uncommon to go up against a four stack fairly often. Um, but you're just less likely to go up against a six stack or to, to like you might go up against a six stack, but you're getting stacked with good players or with a couple smaller fire teams. Like that thing in particular, just because the the room is bigger, it's it's less likely you're gonna run up against a coordinated team. I don't know. I found that um I found that it definitely rewarded fundamentals more. Like when I played conservatively, like really guarded my life well, worked the lanes, worked the angle, stayed in cover, I was rewarded for it. Um, and then I had to be a lot more careful about like being aggressive and pushing out because there's just lots of people everywhere and they're going to shoot you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think I like it. <laughs> I don't dislike it. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. And I feel like it's given me a, uh, a comfort to try to like, I, I go in with mouse and keyboard and I'm like, great. I don't have to like 
go up against the four best players on my friends list. <laughs> like it's actually <laughs> six people I've never played before. And I feel like comfortable to sort of like, you know, be as aggressive as I want or try out different loadouts. Like I go into games with a larger variety of weapons. Now I just had this amazing game with Sturm and Drang on Bannerfall. Like that's never something I would have tried uh, prior to this because I just would have been like, too too worried about like just getting stomped or something like that it just doesn't it's not as fun so i've been pulling guns out of the vault i've been like i'm like you know what i can play a couple games with this legal action to new monarchy pulse rifle uh, <laughs> like that i'll never touch otherwise so yeah it just feels like quick play jump in game match make pretty fast you do what you want have fun play with your friends and it's uh it feels like it lives up to the name when it didn't quite before yeah, I mean, I uh, I spent a decent amount of time the other day uh, just watching like old montages from Destiny 1, which is really weird. But uh, I, I kind of like them for the music too. So like, I'll just listen to that. Oh, yeah. Um, but it like kind of like took me back. I was like, oh, man, this this was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it made me miss it a little uh, for sure. Like, how crazy things can get. And I'm just like, all right, well, uh, we'll be going back to that fairly soon uh, with Forsaken, or at least some semblance of that uh, in quick play. And I feel like, you know, we've steadily watched that get like turned up. Like someone's literally just dialing it up. Like make Mm -hmm. this exotic, more exotic, make this more crazy, throw it, six people versus six people back into quick play. Um, it does, it, to me, it feels really, it feels like Destiny at its core from what it was before. Um, and I'm seeing like, it, even down to like seeing people who like post videos on YouTube being like, going, going for 50 kills. Like, you know, the <laughs> the YouTube videos with like the crazy thumbnails. Yeah. Um but yeah, it, it just, uh, I'm hoping that it continues. And the biggest part about it was like, if this gets, we said it before, if this gets people to play more, like if it's feeling like this and there is like, it fills the population back up on PC or PlayStation or Xbox, wherever you play, uh, I'm all for it. More people, please. Well, speaking of, uh, you mentioned it, Swain. They've been ramping up exotic armors and stuff like that and we got a few more in this yeah, update these new ones are they're good i <laughs> they're really quite good oh my god yeah i i gotta say there's a couple surprising me i think a couple i sort of you know just still don't care enough to try and i wasn't too like amazed by the by the patch notes previously but i have made some changes to my loadouts and it's pretty fun um birds, wait, wait, well yeah, can we mix them up? Because I have not been playing the hunter one. I was just going to playing- ask because I didn't want to tell. I didn't want to go like birds do all the hunter stuff. With <laughs> like, yeah, you've just. No, been- I want to do the. Uh, I want to do the warlock ones. Oh uh, uh, yeah, feel free. So I, uh, I I dusted off my warlock. Been a minute since I I played it. You guys remember when I <laughs> one and a half months ago when I claimed that I'm maining Dawnblade now? Like I kind of. <laughs> I got a little distracted, yeah. um, but I, I, I hopped in because I wanted to try out these Karnstein armlets. Um, I put together an armor set with the uh, Arc Melee Recharge for a, a Stormcaller setup. Um, picture posted there. Thought it turned out okay. And uh, looks good. They, yeah, thank you. Um, they're pretty good. Um, it's, it's, it's a little strange for me just because I, I, generally don't think of warlock as like a super uh aggressive in your face melee heavy class the way i play it other people different mileage so i definitely had to like encourage myself to like push up get close don't 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 be dumb but be close enough to really uh use the extended range on the the storm caller melee to proc this um that melee the 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 health regen that you get from it uh no joke (laughs) <laughs> no joke. <laughs> Quite effective. Um, uh, we're, we're, I, 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 uh, I, I didn't want to say, <laughs> but I wanted to know, uh, are we talking about Crown of Tempest? Because you posted a picture. 
I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like you have a wiener in that picture. Uh, it's a lady character. Well, no. Well, I, I did. I, I, well. I did. I do realize that <laughs> as I was putting different pants on, I noticed this one has got um, got a little bulge there. <laughs> Um, it's fine, man. Just snug pants. Right, you know, right. everyone's, everyone's got a groin. Andrew, leave all this in. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, Crown of Tempest, I watched uh, the tournament a little bit, a very little bit of the tournament that was on today. And I watched as the, the guy from Destined had his super ready, went into his menu, switched to Crown of Tempest, and then activated his super. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. You don't need it any other time except for them. For the best example, uh, Fallout tweeted a nice clip where he got eight kills out of a storm trance, and he he counted that one uh, where it lasted for 23 seconds with like pretty fair usage of ionic blink, which of course you know takes away your charge. But he had time to blink around one side, get all the way to the other side of Endless Veil, vale, blink around, and get those guys spawning over there, and it was pretty nasty. But yeah. Sometimes those exotics just make your super incredible, and in some cases, it's worth it. I, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. I'm not afraid. Um, I was wearing this when outside of my super. I thought it was pretty good. Um, with the uh, when you're using arc bolts and you're really using them to to clean them up, so you're you're getting that arc ability kill when you have lots of melee mods on uh, and you're finishing up your kills with them. Um, yeah, I, I, the, 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 the boost from it is significant. Um, and it just looks cool. I'm just glad it's good <laughs> enough to wear this extremely cool looking thing. Uh, I, I like it. I, uh, I want to get the ornament for it. Don't have the ornament. Isn't that like all we want is to look cool while doing cool yeah, things? Pretty much. Like I want to be good, like have gear that's like good enough, but looks really, really cool. That's basically it. Um, I don't know. I really like them. Both of these have got me playing my warlock again. Like they're they're significantly better than their previous incarnations. Um, Starfire Protocol didn't try it, but you know someone will get around to it, it and let me yeah, know if right. it's good. That's a good podcaster attitude. <laughs> we'll just have like special K on in like two months. Who's like, no, it's it's the secret to winning this game. I've won every match since, and we'll we'll feel like a bunch of dummies. I but. can also see that being like, he's like, he's like, no, I haven't, I haven't tried that yet. And we're like, interviews over. Just <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> come back when you do. With the, with these changes though, it always seems like there's always someone. Like there's one person that puts the thing on and says, I need to be the first to make. It. A YouTube video about how this is crazy, and they spend the afternoon after changes just trying everything about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and if it doesn't happen, if there's no clip, it's not good. <laughs> that's that's no how clip, I, no good. That's how I ju- judge it. Clip equals good. Well, of course, I've been putting on the Karmstein armlets. They're definitely good. Definitely worth replacing a fitting aspect if that's your thing. But I have a good looking Titan, and to make even better radio content. I'm going to send you guys a picture of this one. Yeah, post this Titan pic, bro. Look at this. Show me Titan pic, bro. Oh, wow, wow. Ooh. It's gorgeous. You. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You're For folks guy. listening, I've got uh, the Metro one. It's like the white and black, I think. No, no, I don't know what it's called. The white and black shader all over, except the arms are feedback fence, and those are red with the Crimson Days shader, and it looks good. Yeah. Don't steal that idea, obviously. Is I'm just saying the, picture uh, it in your head. The ornament, too? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, feedback Ooh, fence. Wow, wow. Very good. Uh, it, it stacks on melee hits instead of kills. You just <laughs> get, I mean, like, just make people punch you. You literally want them to. You can run it on all three classes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a striker thing. And, you know, I, I had a lot of fun just, like, getting weak and I'd bait people around a corner and I'd pop my shield, but not where they could see. And, you know, sometimes they'd hear it, so they don't push, but every once in a while it's just too noisy. So they don't realize I'm hiding in a corner, but I pop the shield and they'll melee me through their, sh- the shield, lowering their health, then getting the damage from feedback fence and just kill themselves. <laughs> and it's just <laughs> like, you're just like, please hit me again, please. It's, it's a really fun, really fun super. I think, I think right now, Sithiceps, Feedback Fence, I could probably say those are on the same level. 
But feedback fence is a little nicer for 6v6 when you just like, eh, wasn't paying attention and got hit in the back. Great. Oh, especially with 6v6, Great it, is, it is the choice because it's just free kills. It's free real estate. <laughs> it's free kills, yeah. I, uh, I, I love how every time there's an exotic armor update now, um, Destiny Fun Police posts a clip on Twitter uh, on Altar of Flame where a Titan comes in and is standing in the center and uh, kills everyone with one melee somehow. Um, I think it was, I think it was, was it Feedback Fence or Dune Marchers in this one? I think it was Feedback Fence. Well, there's like an instant kill scenario for three Titan exotics right now. Yeah, basically it's a lot. It's crazy. The Dune Marchers also changed. um, Definitely cool, but... Little more situational, a little bit more like, wow, I got lucky. Uh, I, I've seen a lot of people say the best way to take advantage of this is to use it with the Sunbreaker so you can get the burn on your melee hit and the burn plus the Dune Marcher's damage chaining to other guys uh, can can possibly one, kit, one hit kill people. But uh, the, the range, so what happens is this little electric burst goes out from the guy you hit to other enemies and the range is really far. It feels like a good, I don't know, six or seven meters, certainly farther than a normal melee. So in 6v6, again, now that there's all this chaos uh, all around, just charge into a room and you might do something cool. I don't know. It's worth it to get that clip, I guess. Woo! Clips. Y'all used uh, Doomfang? I haven't personally, but I saw someone just to get a s- eternal super in PVE. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. I was on a strike, and I was like, "Man, you're super up for a long time now." I like keep going. Oh, oh, it's Doomfang. They changed that, <laughs> didn't that? Yeah. Wow. Um, no the the amount of of super energy you get back uh, on the the shield throw in particular is. Yeah, if you like that super, you can really you can really keep that thing going. Maybe more of a PVE one. Definitely more of a PVE one, but still quite good. Yeah, uh, like the uh, quick play. Yeah, a lot of these things uh, become much better with six v six than <laughs> they normally would. Yeah, yeah. Doom you need people to keep killing. Uh, all right, how about this hunter? We got any uh, hunter armor reviews? Is this the first time we have like exotic reviews to do, and none of us have played hunter? <laughs> oh, for sure on my part. So, so we'll just say this because uh, we haven't experienced this and I haven't heard a lot of hype about Lucky Raspberry or y- Young Ahamkara Spine. I just, I'm sorry, no clip, no good. Um, someone will get to that. I have heard from a few people that Stompies with the increased benefits to strafe jump and triple jump feel like Bones of A out. Like, bones like cow. Not truly back forever. It's not, you know, the return, but if you really want a lot of utility out of your jump. And certainly if you're doing stuff like, um, you know, like jumping puzzles uh, or you just like aerial play with throwing knives or SMGs or something like that in the crucible, that stompies are really good. Uh, when worm husk is still there, it's tough to say any of these automatically become the new hotness. So we'll see. We knew. All in all, I feel like it's very safe to say that, you know, Unlocking the potential of exotics and and playing a lot less cautious with them has paid off tremendously. And I hope they continue to do it because there's a lot of exotics still in the in the vaults that I've never given much time to and would love to pull them out and just continue to create different play styles. You know, we've seen with these like it can encourage a passive player to start playing really aggressive, going for those melee plays. It can encourage a guy who likes jumping around to just stay in the air and float around and stuff like that. So the more, the merrier. I'm really excited for, for more of these. You also said the word vault there. Um, I cleaned out the weapon corner of my vault hard. Oh my God. There's nothing in there. It's so nice, right? It's like, it's it's like empty and everything that's in there is like, Oh yeah, I'm saving that for a reason. Either it's a masterwork or it's, you know, like I got like home for the lost in there, right? Like what a perfect gun to have in your vault. It's good. It's that style. It's the high impact. It's kinetic slot. It's cool. I don't plan on using it anytime soon. I don't need it on my character. I want to have this one in particular handy. <laughs> That's yeah. it. That's it. There's like a bunch of other guns that were in there. There was just like, well, 
Maybe the meta will change in this and just like not having to worry about it. No, and you could pull any gun out of my vault and they're all good. They're all fine. Like they're, 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 they're fine. That is, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I just, I just, I just want to get some catalysts, man. I, yeah. They're, they're going to, you know, it, it'll happen. It'll happen. They will. Um, I don't, I don't haven't heard anything back yet, um, but Deej did post on Twitter, <laughs> uh, wondering what questions we had for the uh, community team before the launch of Forsaken, and I uh, don't have an answer. But I did ask if I could have Risk Runner Catalyst. So <laughs> yeah. you I'm just gonna asked assume that directly. We'll see. Yep, that uh, that yeah, Forsaken launches. Uh, me and all my friends are gonna get Risk Runner Catalyst. Just gonna show up on our vault. Cosmo's there gonna go. hit you with one Grab of those. Grab it, the postmaster. Uh, the, the feedback has been forwarded onto the team. <laughs> Good. Birds, <laughs> birds wants the thing. Doesn't hey, want to do the work. Uh, this on. guy just wants one. Do you no? Okay. Yeah. Can he? Can look? Can I have, have to just tell. Have, I have to say it. All right. You understand. Thanks. There you go. Yeah. Put on the list shackle. <laughs> I like to think uh, that there's a whiteboard at Bungie that says birds needs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a risk runner catalyst. There's people running yep. around throwing papers into the air, screaming. Yep. Like, we gotta get yep. him a catalyst. The cigarette butts overflowing <laughs> from the trays, sleeves rolled up. Deej standing at the whiteboard, just circling over and over. Birds needs catalyst. Team, pouring how su- are we gonna do pouring this? Pouring sweat, pouring sweat. <laughs> no one's going home till he gets it <laughs> somehow. Uh, all right. Anything else in these patch notes? Um, oh, I, I do have something to announce. Um, they fixed in this. This is the one I was personally waiting for. Uh, they fixed an issue that was fucking up the recoil of West of Sunfall Seven. Um, th- these and and tr- the the a cold sweat. These are that. Um, I forget what the name of the archetype is, but the the super fast firing hand cannons like Nature of the Beast and the Ecolos one. Um, which are uh, definitely a pretty cool certain kind of thing. And I was thinking in particular, West of Sunfall, this is the one out of all of those. Like when I was first playing with it, should I use Nature of the Beast? Should I use Ecolos? Like what's the one I want? Uh, West of Sunfall has just got crazy stats on it. Crazy amount of aim assist. Um, really, really high range. I mean, I, I could dig out why I liked it. And I saw it. Hey, it's fixed. It's in there. I'm going to go get it. And I realize, oh, you know, I actually haven't cleared all of the, haven't gotten all of the weapons on one character. So I couldn't go to that new page they had. And I went and checked the verse and it was like, oh, verse seven, it's there. I'll just do this right now. Got it. Tested it out. I didn't care for it. (laughs) Yeah, I did the same thing. (laughs) I was like, oh, all right. Maybe not my favorite still. It's, you know, if I were playing with mouse and keyboard, if I had really phenomenal aim, it, it, there's definitely a niche for it in the Crucible. Uh, maybe more so in in Rumble. Um, but for me, just, yeah, wasn't feeling it. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. You know what? Actually, we forgot to mention the biggest thing they added in the patch notes. Yeah, yeah, do it. You Did don't we? lose momentum when you pop oh. a super in the air <laughs> on PC anymore. <laughs> That blew my mind. I saw that. I was like, what? Like they knew about that. I I just thought like for sure that was just how it was going to be. And there was nothing else to do about it. And then they announced that. So happy. It just, it looks so much better. It's like part of the style of popping your super is when you keep floating a little bit, you kind of, you know, you yeah. kind of like yeah. drift into the area. It's that how style. Many, how many montage cuts have started oh my God, with the that golden floating gun air reaching golden into the air? air. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yep, I, uh, I, I'm two of mine six at least. Montages. Exactly <laughs> right. Everybody does it. You got to keep that momentum. Yeah, yeah. It looks so much better. It feels so much better. Oh, good fix. This was a good one. Yeah, I, uh, I the 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 comp changes happen. We we did talk about those a fair amount uh, when we first heard about this change. Um, I have not played a ton of comp. Apparently, like there was round one and then round two. Like they did some more stuff related to the matchmaking to make it. Uh, more likely to match up to people at your skill level. Um, no comment so far. Yeah. No, this was it. an update that, like I said, at the very beginning has such a, an amount of things. And plus it's, it's supposed to be faction rallies this week and I just want to play 6v6. So I'm not even like going to get those new guns. Uh, yeah. So it's like, we'll, we'll have a lot more to talk about next week. But listeners, I, I, I want to say I was getting real. Real burnt out of quick play. Do you know how, do you know, you got, you guys heard of Destined on PC? Yeah. Well, I'm very familiar with them. 
And I was, I was you run into you ever run into a little Dustin. Yeah, I, I just I just gotta admit I gotta come clean. I was getting a little grumpy. Like there'd be n- nights where I just like, all right, I'm done with all my shit for today. Let's play some Crucible, and I didn't have a good time. I was getting a little sad, and then. <laughs> 6v6 happened and apparently something else did and the magic sauce was poured on and it feels better. So if anyone else was getting burnt out, I was right there with you. I feel it. I'm just, I'm I'm glad it's over. I think I'm on the, the cusp of going in for a (laughs) Redrix. Um, (laughs) yeah, I think it's going to happen probably soon. We'll see. Uh, I will update it. Yeah, there's not much time left, which means there's probably other people that have also procrastinated on this level uh, with me. And uh, yeah, let's go get it. <laughs> there you go. Is this a race to whoever on Crucible Radio gets the Redrex first? <laughs> well, I'm trying to I probably have a few points ahead, so I should get going. Yeah, um, better hustle. Really, what the race is is like. Will any of us shoot enemies on Nessus soon enough to get the Sturm catalyst? Because that's what I want, but <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do it. Go ask Dan. Dan Dan had that had that shit unlocked like an hour. He made it and seem like it was a, just an easy thing to do, and then I did spend an hour on Nessus, and I got real grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta wait for it to be like the uh, the flashpoint. Yeah, the flashpoint or like a nightfall because I I know I, th- I think it drops in that too, but. Oh well, I, I do. I do kind of want to go do that right now, guys. If we're if we're good, can I go play Destiny? Go play some Destiny. All right, cool. you, baby. Till next week. Bye, folks. Uh, yeah. Hey, go to crucibleradio.com. Get you a new shirt. I gotta see some of these shirts in person at Guardian Con. I can confirm. Good ass shirts. Mine. Uh, get yourself a dad hat. Mine were waiting when I got back. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> also good. Also good. Yeah. <laughs> I got also my dad good. hat in the mail after two, two when I returned and. I love it a lot. It's nice. great. Uh, there's a few other things that we're going to maybe add. A very limited one. Should we do that beach towel? We should definitely do the uh, beach towel. It looked cool. Yeah. Summer fun. Um, I didn't think it would. It's awesome. It looks great. Uh, I'm going to use it. I'm going to go to the beach just because of the towel. Um, <laughs> just holding it out to everyone. Like, look, there, there, look. Are, there might be a Gator Fax tea. Come on. We'll see. Shh. Uh, let me end it on this note from the comment section on Crown of Tempest from the Destiny Tracker uh, armor comment section. Oh <laughs> okay, dot, dot, dot. Makes you kind of look like the Statue of Liberty. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Till next week, folks. <laughs> Bye. Yay. Goodbye. Back again, we got more from Ruinizer this week. Check them out. It's ruinizer.bandcamp.com. And hey, we want to hear your music. We want to play it on the show. I'm, I'm looking at the, the email account, all these email submissions. I love them all, but I want to hear some new stuff. So if you've been on the fence about it, you weren't sure, well, now's the time. You can be on Crucible Radio. It starts when you send us an email. Send us some of your tunes, crucibleradio at gmail.com. Hello everyone, Swain here. You know that Crucible Radio is your source for all things Destiny PvP, and I know you want more than just this video, so make sure to head on over to crucibleradio.com to find all of our past episodes, detailed Crucible maps, t-shirts, and much, much more.